What is up everyone and welcome to part 2 of the legendary Hojo campaign. Uh, we stopped off at a siege assault or we're in a siege defense against the Takeda who decided to advance on me with only one of their two armies because I, <laughs> I guess the AI decided the garrison is too weak to resist what they've thrown at me here and it's Shingen himself so uh, it's, a, it's a double whammy we get rid of the first Takeda army and Shingen. It's the Battle of Odawara in the winter of 1548. We've got a relatively experienced army against us, led by... Is it rank 3 Shingen? I think it's a rank 3 Takeda Shingen. So we're gonna group all the bows together. We got upgraded melee attack and I'm gonna try and... Use that as much as possible here to my advantage. I would like to get some experience, some more experience on these guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put all of the upgraded melee attack Ashigaru on their own and then the standard vanilla ones into the holding force. And we've got samurai retainers here who I think I'm going to use to just slow down the enemy advance over here. I think that's good enough. I wanna be I wanna use my archers to maximum advantage and I am playing with I am currently playing with the direct fire bow mod, mini mod, which which reduces the firing angle for bows, so archers outside the fort mostly should not be able to fire. Like they should not be able to plunging fire onto my own men inside. Okay. And that goes both ways. I can't also plunging fire onto the AI, uh, do plunging fire onto the AI, so it's relatively fair, I believe. All right, we got both samurai down there. Okay, so I think yeah, I'm going to move everyone over to the side. Archers. I'm going to have the Boashigaru garrison here. And just leave the... <clears throat> oh, wait. Well, whatever. Never mind. I'll just leave the Boashigaru garrison here. I'm gonna have Vanilla Ashigaru first to hold the line and then the upgraded melee attack to drive the point home. Oh, Ashigaru, Bo Samurai. I'm going to pull these guys off the walls because the Bo, Bo Samurai will be able to return fire at that angle. So I want to use the garrison units to just delay the enemy force as much as possible and allow my archers to fire as many volleys as possible. Okay, we got some return fire. I'm going to pull these guys out the walls real quick. Get off the wall. Don't freeze there. Oh my god. Get you back on the walls. Okay. These Bo Ashigaru might be able to fire. Okay, they're returning fire. Who are they firing on over here? Okay, they're firing down on my Yari Ashigaru here, the garrison unit, whatever. Anyway, let's uh, tie down these garrison units. Uh, sorry, these uh, Ashigaru, Yari Ashigaru. Give a chance for my archers to fire. And yeah, let's start. Let's get it back on the walls quick. We're gonna... Bring those Ashigaru forward. Yeah, I got these guys hitting the flank, unfortunately. Whatever. They're the garrison units. They're only, their only role is to just buy time for our archers to uh, rack up some kills. They have heaven and earth, which means 
50% uh, more ammo should come in handy. I want them to fire on the bow samurai. Turning off fire at will so they, you know, for better target selection, I guess. Don't have fire arrows, unfortunately. Okay, we got some bow samurai over here. I'm gonna pitch up some more yachty walls. Yeah, I think I'm gonna run fire at will now. They're quite they're underperforming quite a bit, Bo Samurai. Get these guys off the walls now and get the Adi Ashi got win. Good old bait and switch. Yeah, I'm gonna pull the Bo Samurai off the walls now. Didn't too didn't do too good. This is see the problem with bows, you really need to invest a lot in them to 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 make them work, like upgraded accuracy and that crap. It's not like the other unit classes that are just good outside of the box already Our men are running from the battlefield. archers are just something you really 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 need to commit to Time to abandon the walls to the enemy. So that unit has been broken. And soon, I think I think I'm gonna send the Boas or the Yari Ashigaru down through the gate and into the flank. My vanilla Yari Ashigaru are doing quite well, it seems, overall. Combat even and they're fighting. These are exhausted units now. They've had to climb through two two walls okay general's back there not getting involved two walls and then through garrison units and it's gonna have a chain route sort of effect they're gonna run directly into my men as well so they'll all be guaranteed to die I guess this might have been a bad decision actually because I, I remember now these guys had like three experience so they're probably going to slightly outperform my Yari Ashigaru. Maybe the height advantage will work in my favor just slightly but it looks like they're going to break before they can put up much opposition. Yeah, broken. There's one shaken unit down here. Yeah, probably not a good idea to send them down there. Whatever. I just really wanted to use the upgraded melee attack to whatever advantage I could. Yeah, that's uh, the morale penalties collecting real quick. A bunch of exhausted, depleted units right now, all in close proximity to one another, and missile fire on top of that, just adding to the effect. The archery tower is also probably contributing to the losses my men are taking. Come on! Get, get get our boys in there real quick okay we got the generals advancing i'm gonna send my men right behind just to see if i can get more of a morale penalty on these guys just by being behind them come on it doesn't seem like it's either no i'm just gonna i'm just gonna yachty rush forward and try and neutralize the tower at least this is this is how powerful unit experience is look at this like this is 
we we set up the fights very favorably they're in a choke point right now they can't flank they can't do anything i have the freedom of flanking and even then even then even with all the missile support the fact that they didn't even get any archer volleys off uh it's still a close call it's gonna come down to getting rid of shingen you know frightened by nearby unit but our men are, are in a pretty good spot winning decisively so that and winning decisively does contribute its own like morale buff It's just gonna it's just a question of battle of attrition now if I can get Shingen out of this fight. I think I'm gonna get the Boashigaru involved. Come on. Combat even, unit winning. God, these guys will not break. They will actually not break. It's the Yachty Wild for last second. And just like that, I lost a bunch of Yachty Ashigaru units. Let's get them out of the fight and try and extricate them as best I can. if my archers can really contribute much to this fight like their line of sight is blocked and i don't want to friendly fire my own men but whatever i think yeah there we go that's more like it it's more like it shingen is not dead though it's okay i'll finish him off in the follow-up fight i'll have to see if i lost any yari ashigaru units other than the garrison Okay, it's only the garrison I was lost. That's fine. Fit for command. Uh, I think I will, honestly. Because all um, I, I don't have any other generals. I only have, like, sons who are not of age yet. And the, the, the advantage to having generals who aren't brothers is that they don't disappear on succession. Like, they, I, I believe they stay, like, until death. Like, they, they, they don't just get Thanos snapped when you have a succession like brothers do. And considering the fact that this guy's 34, uh, it's middling age overall. 1% bonus to clan-wide tax rate. I think I'm going to go for the decreased resistance to invaders and, like, pilot onto this guy. It's gonna uh, that comes in really handy during like the final push in realm divide just it once it keeps on stacking to like 32 percent or something like that and it really has an effect like it really really has an effect on on like maintaining your momentum so does he have any it's only shingen i'm gonna get rid of him real quick i think i'm gonna send the general and the area shigaru after him i don't want to leave the settlement unguarded And that's a three rank general. Any three rank general that general that you kill is a good is a good progress. Because each rank of a general, like regardless of what retainers you get, gives like extra morale just to the whole army. It's ridiculous. I hate it. Alright, alright. This is where we plop down the market, I think. What am I researching? 30, 31 turns till I get. Yeah, I think wait no, I can I can really speed it up if I get Kazuke. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe out Takeda and then go for Yamanuchi. Yamanuchi, let me check something. Okay, Wasuge is still alive and they're pretty damn strong. That's one, two, three, four provinces, and they're probably going to wipe out Satomi as well by the looks of it. Oh yeah. I am in for a fight, but I will have a stand and fight general to help me. Let's uh, keep on the move, I guess. Mm -hmm. What else is there here to do? 
Should I be keeping these guys in Mikawa? Or moving them over to Uwari? I think I'll move them over to Uwari. They have not much use here. And I'm probably better off holding this against Iko Iki. I'm surprised they ha still haven't declared war on me. Oh. Yeah, I'll go for a ninja if only just, yeah, just purely for intel's sake. Just to see, I, I want to see what upgrades are in these provinces because that'll determine my my expansion opportunities later on. I prefer, you know, going for upgraded settlements. Even as Hajo with re decreased castle building costs and whatever, I would much prefer taking what the AI builds rather than putting my own money into it. Also, construction. Is there anything that was completed recently? Okay, just the sake then. Anything else that needs building? No, I don't think so. I think I'll leave it at that, honestly. I also... Wait, I do have a stone resource to build this up. And I do have the, the excess, like, food surplus just a bit. But I don't know. Is it worth, like, uh, the, the fort is definitely worthwhile for defenses. But I think, like, this is just diminishing returns going for the castle. Though I will be able to build another market here. Or maybe Buddhist temple. I don't know. I think I'll just build the castle so I can I can free up all these units over here and just use the garrison almost completely. Maybe supplement to some Mashlock Ashigaru. That seems like a good idea. Okay. Nothing else left to do, it seems. Yeah, that's Takeda army I was expecting. Oh, here they come. Finally, Hattori throws down the boot. Throw down the gauntlet, puts puts the boot down. Oh, Imagawa are coming to steal Kai. I very much do not like that. Oh, and the stockade army is like stopping me from doing that as well. You know what? I think I'll take over North Shinano. Let me check something. Hang on, hang on. Okay, they will accept peace. So I'll take over North Shinano and then and then sue for peace. Because I know Imagawa sooner or later is going to break away and I, I prefer them be only one province rather than two provinces. We're going to peacefully occupy this and then sue for peace with Takeda. Speak your insolence, See, fuck, I, I can't. Reply. I'll get the trade agreements. That's just to keep Imagawa under my thumb. I don't want powerful vassals. And I do have access to war horses. Superior war horses. But I don't... So I don't have any of the buildings that will allow that anyway. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna... Gonna send this guy out. Send you out as well. I forgot about these ships. I, I, you're out here to scout. Okay. Weirdly enough, I don't know what's up with the AI's logic, but they never upgrade this province. Like, any faction that takes over key just never upgrades it. The roads are still just dirt trails and everything. I have no idea what's going on there. Alright, so that is the Hattori army. Let me send my scout out. I want to see what's been... Okay, there's... Oh, there's a lot of bow running. Alright, not upgraded to fortress. I, I hate this province so much because it starts out with an archery dojo and it's just it's just the cause of so many of my problems. I'm, I'm so glad to have the direct fire bow mod enabled. Alright, let's uh, full tax this real quick. I'm probably going to lose like a thousand Coco in income once Hattori takes over Uwari because I know that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. 
okay so we're gonna go for uh yeah where's the upgraded which one's yeah jujitsu dojo for mm -hmm, mm -hmm. gonna go for trading port so i can get the upgraded uh weaponsmith Shingun. Man, I really wanted that Warhorse Tables and the Sword School like Katana Cavalry. I will attack them next turn, actually. I will be sure to attack them next turn or just declare war on them right now. I want Katana Samurai, Katana Cavalry, and then I got two properly well-fitted out armies. Oh, that is very, very funny of you, Takeda. That is just an amazing setup for the upcoming battle. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I cannot believe it. And then Ikoeki declared war on me. I wonder if they're still at war with Hattori right now, because that, that would be helpful. Okay, we got our money out of Owari, and I probably should pull my Metsuke out of there, like, real quick. Okay, this guy, rank 4. I should be scared because he might go after one of my generals. I'll just send this guy in random sabotage missions. <laughs> well, that was a, a career cut too short indeed. Anyway, it's time to declare war on Takeda. Again. Because I'm not satisfied with getting those war horses to trade. And this is going to be the battle of our times. I'm going to heroic victory. Like just beast this heroic victory. Oh boy. I could just knight attack. But why would I want to do that? I am deliberate. <gasps> I forgot I don't have stand and fight. Oh no. I don't have stand and fight on my daimyo. Never mind. I can't go back. <laughs> I'm going to do this without stand and fight. Like just self-sabotaging myself. And, and, and what's it called? And no knight attack. They're going to come in from the south, which I assume is this part of the map. I'll, I'll just station my... I'll just station my units on this, like... I'll station my units on this side of the map. Seems prudent. And I have more than enough experience to do this. It's okay. I don't really need standard fight anyway. I'm just coping right now. And action. Where is that enemy force? Oh, there they are. Yeah, I see them. Okay, well, we can uh, forget about the garrison for now. And either way, I I'm really coping over the standard fight, but I, I want to keep my general on his horse because I don't have any other cavalry to run them down, and I do want to run them down. Okay, we got some Takeda Light Cavalry there. I might actually have to, like, storm the fort. Yeah, this is going to be messy. If they're, if, I, if if some of the units are actually going to go into the fort, this is going to be messy. Should have thought about that. I'm gonna bring these Yari Ashigaru down there. Get in, get in. Quick, 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 quick. I'm gonna send my generals out to try and bait these light cavalry. I don't want anything going to the fort. Even if they're light cavalry and Yari Ashigaru can, like, easily deal with them, I would rather avoid that scenario. The less resistance I have in taking this, the better. And I normally would prefer not damaging the fort because I want to recruit right away, but I mean the ba the, the the nature of this battle that's not allowing for that option. Okay, I think it's working. I think it's working. Let's get the Yachty wall set up. Okay, yeah. 
I got the Yachty Samurai guarding this flank. Seems like it is working. Come on, come on. Get, get in there. Get into safety, my general. We're gonna need it. And I just got very lucky that the fact that the Yachty actually got it and like the... And the... And the, and the Samurai retainers decided to run away at this specific moment. Yeah, we got Katana Cavalry, lots and lots of crap. Just, I'm going to pop Rally real quick. And, yeah, Inspire on these guys. Get in, get in there. Quick, 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 quick. If you can set up a Yachty Wall, even better. If you can set up a Yachty Wall, that's even better. Advance far forward as possible and set up the Yachty Wall. Run, 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 run. Quick, 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 quick. And one of you caps the flag. Yep, Yachty Samurai are taking a beating because they're against Katana Cavalry, who are... Don't under, don't, don't ever, like, underestimate them. Katana Cavalry are, like, actually, like, really good. Okay, we caught these guys. And now it's a question of just running down that timer while we hold the flag. And then we can run down these guys with my general. Just go, 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 quick, 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 quick. I don't want any, any, any Takeda soldiers on that flag. Yep, slowly wearing them down. Battle is, uh... I mean, I, I fumbled a bit with deciding, you know, I was a bit, like, deliberating on whether to fight the enemy army or to... to just c concentrate everything on the flag, and I went for a mix of both over here, and it's taking its toll a bit, especially with these Katana Cavalry over here, really, like... Okay, I'm gonna run out. Oh, no, actually, it's only four seconds. Pa I passed, uh, passed faster than I expected. Let's go, 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 quick, quick, quick. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be time to, uh... It's time to, uh, to finish off these guys. Yep, it's time. Yeah, we're continuing this, and I need to... Okay, yeah, um... All hands after the routing army. And the archery towers just miraculous to keep on firing. I love it. Yeah, they should go. To, yeah, they should go to leave them be. Get in there. Get in there. Get in. Get in the actual fight, you morons. And this is why I kept my general mounted. I probably wouldn't have you stand and fight anyway. Get the horses scattered, but and then that's just a terrible scenario to be in. What I would do for just one unit of light cavalry. I think I do have one and I forgot about it from last time. And let's go after the... Those, these Boashi Garu here. Mm, 600 kills between the two generals. You want to switch targets relatively frequently when you're in this scenario because the charge actually does. It's more efficient at killing men than just letting them disperse like this and pick them off individually. Now this is a heroic victory. Come on, like game. You, you can't. You can't take this away from me. For some reason, they change directions. They don't normally do this in, like, siege assaults. Like, sorry, in, like, siege battles, they usually have a very rigid, like, pathfinding when it comes to routing. Generals have about 1,100 kills between them. Siege assaults are very underrated in this game. People, like, don't see how how much they shift the odds in your favor because of the way the deployment works. 
like even if you don't capture the settlement it's still worth to just do the battle to put the reinforcing army in a really bad spot look at that more than a thousand five hundred of them survived well i get the settlement for myself and honestly with how much daimyo honor i have i'm probably okay just looting the crap out of it But then there's the question of repairs. I'm probably going to lose like a lot of that just repairing and crap. You know, I'll leave it at this. I won't, I won't, I won't damage it. Yeah, these people don't like me here. Takeda is down to like two provinces, two disparate provinces. They will not accept peace. AI is usually less willing to accept peace, I find. I think. I'm not sure if this is just placebo. If you take over their capital like they're just less willing to throw on the towel at that point all right uh actually cancel reset i want to check something so he has eight daimyo honor he has one more that he can get from vassals okay he hasn't maxed out the vassal thing uh plus one to morale or uh i think i'll go for the biwa player so I don't think it's worthwhile going for increased honor in here and these and then these skills. I think I'm just gonna go for straight melee attack. Just for the straight melee attack skill. All right, let's uh, finish uh, finish our work over here. Finish our food. Oh, what I would give to have some of those. I could have actually bribed them. I didn't consider that option. Anyway, I'm trying to see if I can sue for peace again. Will they accept it? Okay, fine then. Whatever. In the meantime... We're gonna have our western flank just overrun completely by... What's here? Okay, there's both samurai down there. Alright, you know what? I don't want any Takeda armies running around like this, so I'm gonna send my other general out to just finish him off. Maybe I can sue for peace after that. And he is now ranked 2. Retainers are you getting? It's five to accuracy for all bonus, whatever. Um, what was I thinking about? Okay, yeah, Takeda. Let's request peace. Yeah, even under feeble, you see, like I don't know, it's, it's just having their capital, losing their capital is just enough to just like you know, like they're spitting in your face at the diplomacy table. Yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna move this guy to the western flank, even. I don't know actually. These are rank one armies. Like Iko Iki, surprisingly, I, I I suspect this is not their main army. Who are they at war with? Okay, they're at war with pretty much everyone. I suspect this is not their main army because this is suspicious. Like yeah, there there's something going on here. Same with Hatori. Who are you at war with? Iko Iki as well, and it says they're strong. So maybe that comes down to naval, because they have a navy or whatever. All right, let's um. Hmm. Constantly deliberating. Is it really wise to widen the war to Kazuke just to get the extra research speed? I'm I'm like sixty percent of the way to realm divide. Like that's maybe five more provinces, and I'm I'm there. All right, I want to try something. I want to do this. Okay, yeah, I'll... If only to rank this guy up. There he is, rank 2. And I will gladly make these guys into a vassal. Should have given an upgraded range before I gave that movement order.
This one made the attack for all sorted. Victor, yeah, the game is really nudging me towards Katana Samurai. Uh, Takeda, uh, peace. Still not accepting it. I was hoping maybe I could get another Vassal on my list. Well, that is, uh, yeah, nine. Even if I go for, if I start looting, like, I'm, I'm still gonna stay at six honor. I'll, I'll just keep that in mind, you know? I'll just keep that as an option if I ever get desperate and I need, like, money real quick. And that might happen soon, considering, um... We have uh, two hostile armies about to break into the Western Front. And I am going to extricate this army here. Why, you may ask? Because... Um, I'm also thinking I'm going to move the Metsuke. Because I'm going to uh, wage some guerrilla warfare. I'm, I'm going to try taking the settlement, like hide this army here. That sometimes you can do that, just hide an army. Or maybe even deliberately spawn rebels as well, I guess. I don't know, because sometimes the AI ignores Uwari and like it's like it's hard-coded to go to Mikawa. So I can't count on it attacking Uwari. In the meantime, I will build up a garrison. I think I'll wait until like this, the, the castle is complete. But I will add some bow samurai. I'll add one unit of bow samurai. Should also, yeah, upgrade those roads. It's about time. Anyway, uh, go. Next turn. All right. Yeah, you see their, their targeting priority is just really weird. It's all over the place. You see, and now they're coming after the army because I, I suspect they spotted them. I hope the Oda rebels show up and like give them a good kick in the butt. Okay, ah, they're not even that big. <sighs> Jeez. Fine. I'll move over here and recruit some more units. Oh, I, yeah, I can also recruit another Metsuke, I just realized. I didn't build anything in this province because I'm assuming I'm going to lose it at some point anyway. So what's the point? All right. First things first, some light cavalry. I'm going to be needing that. I really need this guy. I could send them out to scout, but it's probably not worth it. I could also attack Satomi. I suspect they don't have much forces like... Satomi, who are you allied with? No one. And they're not at war with anyone either. They're defensive and dependable. I, huh? Okay, that's interesting. Who's going to accept trade with me? I should have done that earlier. Hmm. So I can trade with... Oh, I can... Yeah, now I can because now I can trade with them because there's a land link, I think, or something. There's I don't know how that works. Is it is it between Mikawa and South Shinano, even though there's a mountain range? It's weird. I I can't get them to accept that. I do not wish to listen to you, but politics makes for Yeah, not even with a the hostage, they're not they're not gonna accept it. Plus it says they're not even exporting it. Does not export or import these goods. You have Miyagi. What's up with that? Okay. Okay, for now, I'm going to pop you down in South Shinano. Sometimes I like to stop my Metsukes in the town if I can't get them to the actual, like, end destination in the same turn because... You know, every turn they're sitting outside of a town has just lost money anyway. Some money is better than none, I guess. Yo, a manzucha. Mm-hmm. 
Right. Let's get you back into Sagami. Should also consider uh, upgrading that farm, especially with that reduced cost. Mm, Hattori might attack within the same turn. They, I think they can reach this within one turn, especially since I upgraded that road. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk that. All right, and. Four turns till get till I, till I get Katana Samurai. I think I'll have to send them trailing off to join the army. It's logistical challenges when you get a mid range, a mid game empire like this. Yeah, and Hattori are coming. And look at that. They just ignored. They just ignored Uwari. They're just like hard coded to go for a specific province. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna take one Yari Ashigaru from Mikawa and then go for uh, finally some light cavalry. I'm gonna take one Yari Ashigaru from here, put it in this army, and then try and send these guys around towards. Um, you know, if I just it, like it, it, it's literally just disrupting the enemy, just f confusing them. Even if you're not like winning, you're you're not defeating them in the war. You're at least just buying time for for your other armies to show up and finish the job. So I don't like the fact that you're here. Can you like stop bothering me, like real quick? Alright, and I think I might be able to get Takeda to, uh... Finally, will he give me something? Okay. I have no extra honor to be gained from Vassal, so I'd rather just take money. I'll keep it at 3k. Let's go with that. Now you're left to the wolves. Hopefully, Ikuiki will devour what's left of your, uh... Of your l limbless body at this point. Or maybe Hatakeyama did not accept because I don't know they I can't get the horses to them because the like the way the trade network is working and has been cut off maybe or something like that. I don't know. Just again theory crafting here. I'm gonna move this guy into North Shinano now, and then eventually Takai. Both because it's relatively rich and um, what's it called? And because um, uh, I want I want to take advantage of his repression. He has two to repression, so he's good at countering the unrest from a major clan capital. I hope Iko Iki do not go after my guerrilla army. Oh, look, they actually went for, for Uwari. Okay. And that's really going to hit my income hard, I expect. Oh, not that much. 300 Koku, not too bad. And they're still going after. Like, the, the army is not concealed. They keep on being discovered. But look, it's, it's a win-win scenario. Either my army, like, does... Like, takes over a settlement in the rear or just distracts them just continuously. Like this. Like, each turn they spend chasing after this army over here in the mountains is just a complete waste of their resources. It's guerrilla warfare. It works in this game. I'm surprised. I mean, give me one unit of katana samurai and that's good. 
Powder Maker, 26 turns. That should be in time for Realm Divide and whatever. I know it's only a short campaign, and you might think, oh, what are you doing getting Matchlock as you guard such a late game? You, know, you just press on. But this part of the map is just, it's very easy to lose territory, like to constantly lose and have to retake it. And that can prolong the campaign. If you just, just get unlucky with two AI, like high experienced armies attacking you at the same time, then uh, then yeah, it can it, it can be worthwhile to, to invest in match locks, just the extra insurance. And look at that, we now have silver melee attack. Alright, Hatakeyama, please. Oh, there you go. Now I can get Wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Who's who's trading iron over here? It's not if it's not Hatakeyama, then who? Is nobody actually trading iron over here? Nobody's exporting it. Come on, Hatakeyama, you have to like speak plainly. Speak quickly. Let's see if this does the trick. Oh, it actually no, it actually worked. But the game isn't even displaying it. What the Let me check something. Hang on, let me let me check something. Where am I getting the iron from? Like, it requires that. Like, oh, oh, oh. Let, me, let me check the finance. Uh, this game is just weird, honestly. Like, I, I don't know how. It doesn't say I'm in... Like, that's bugged. Yeah, that's definitely bugged. Unless there's something I'm missing or whatever. It's definitely bugged. Anyway, Master Weaponsmith. A lot of weird things, buggy things, interactions with trade. And I'm going to place this guy over here for similar reasons that this army is here. If there's an eastern invasion, they have just a weird tendency to take these as bait. And it's just, especially when they're off-road, because off-road just eats your army movement really quickly. It's, 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 it's a useful delaying factor. Finally, we can get this guy into Kai. Even with the loss of Uwari, I'm still making decent cash. And I don't need I didn't even need any merchant guilds for that, I'm surprised. Finish the gold mining complex as well. Yeah, great, great. This is all good. It's all good. And just, just after I got, th that's the thing. The the trade agreement only matters for the one turn you're making. The you're actually building the building, and then if it gets lost, who cares? You know, fuck them. At that point. Okay, wait, wait. Like sensible men of many things, and so reach some accord here today. Uh, I'm confused. Why is there an Ashigaru over here, like sitting, even though the daimyo is alive? And then second of all, um, okay, he's asking for me to break trade. This is really weird. It's like breaking trade agreement to the Imagao, but they're like still like that barely matters. They're asking for 11,000, which is like 70% of all my savings. You know what? They're not going to hold it anyway. Like they're not going to hold the agreement anyway. So I'm not going to accept it. Ikoiki is notorious for breaking things like one turn later. Oh, Limagawa, you tried. Trade disrupted. Yep, just one turn after I gave the building order. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, uh, Hatakeyama. I liked you while you were still friends, but it's, uh, you know, things don't last in this world. Especially in this Sengoku world of mine. All right. So I think I'm going to. Building another stables is redundant. Building another sword school is redundant. Yari drill yard for Yari cavalry. Eh, I don't know about that. I literally did this just for the extra garrison. That's all I cared about. I 
I could go for heavy like melee attack Naginata Samurai just for memes or whatever, but I don't I normally don't play memes in this game. Oh wait, sorry, somebody's Okay, he's fine. Okay, rank three only. Okay, whatever, fuck it. Buddhist temple. I think once I research this, I'll get a research speed boost and I can use that for like to get through the five elements really quickly. Yeah, I think I'll just for three turns go for Buddhist temple. All right. Mm hmm. I'm going to place this guy over here in case Iko Iki manages to come this far and I take them in the bridge battle like this. So I'm going to I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to disband these guys. They're suboptimal units at this point and I'm going to go for Two more upgraded, like, heavy melee attack Yare Ashigaru. And one Bo Ashigaru. Iku Iki are, like, the one faction, like, the, the one reason to ever get Bo Ashigaru this late. Like, they can, just the quantity of arrows and the fact that they're low armor, it's, it's, it can be quite helpful. I forgot about that army. Whatever. It's gonna be time for guerrilla warfare soon. What's your next move, Imago? Oh! Skilled. Finally! Could, oh, I will hire them, actually, never mind. I'm just scared that Takeda's gonna wipe them out. But I... Oh, perfect timing. I'll take it. Let's move you out now. Alright. Now's, now's the time to begin the offensive. I'm hoping... Hoping that... One of these provinces is vacant. Ikoiki seems to have... Like, they lost... What did they lose this to? Buddhist rebels? Okay, that's funny. Normally, you don't see that happening in their capital. Sanjoy itasmascha. All right. We got... I think it's Katana Cavalry, Katana Samurai... I think I'll upgrade it to a fortress. I mean, screw the food shortage concern, right? Nothing else left to do. Except, yeah, max tax that again. I think I'm going to go for Yamanuchi next, honestly. Go for Yamanuchi, get the improved research, just, just, just steroids research and, and, and get, get match locks quick. Hang on, uh, Masugi, I want to try something, I'm going to ask them. Okay, I can't, I can't force like a demand break of alliance for vassals. At the same time, they also don't seem to be doing too well. We have this no-name Yusuke guy. Kenshin is dead. They're at war with Hanma and allied with Mogami, but they're very, very, like, far away. I want to get trade. I want to see what these guys are up to. Like, I want to see you what's in their capitals or whatever. Too bad my only ninja died on his first job. First day on the job, literally. Okay, yeah. Let's go. 
Guerrilla warfare, as they say. And I'm going to loot it because I have no hope of holding this province. It's going to have no effect on my public order because of the way my daimyo is. And I did all this without the plus one to clan-wide happiness from Zen. So that's going to compensate for it a bit. And that is successful guerrilla warfare. Just 5k easy. I predict uh, Hattori and Ikoiki are going to come back very quick. I'm going to retreat. This is some, one of those things that you could do in the old army system before Rome 2. This is one of those, those neat tricks you could do with just like isolated armies hiding out in forests. I'm going to make these guys into a vassal and you... And I just teleported the Hattori army all the way over here. So they're just out of the picture at this point. I'm going to send this Yari Ashigaru down here just to just again as bait. Slow down any army who gets involved. I'm going to add just one more unit of Yari Ashigaru to that army. Powder Maker, Sagami. Yeah, just declare war. Just just screw it. Yeah, and it's a bunch of... It's just a Yachty Samurai horde. I'm at only seven provinces. Well, but there's like... Th there's two for Vassal, so it's nine total. Three for Vassal, sorry. So it's a ten total. We got one katana cavalry and katana samurai on the way. Yeah, let's keep researching this crap and Buddhist temple. What did they build here? Oh, they went for the magistrate. I'm gonna I'm gonna demolish this and go for the library. I'm gonna really supercharge that research, yo. The Magawa against all odds is still alive. Just Iko Iki just decided to turn away. I guess they had bigger problems somewhere else. Hmm. They have like six or seven Boashigar, so they're gonna try. <coughs> they're gonna try skirmishing me. Which is why I will just uh, hang out here behind this, um, yeah, behind this terrain feature, I guess. So these three cavalry are going to be together, then I'm going to have the general and stand and fight. They have all the samurai together as well. Okay, yeah, here's the thing. I'm going to place everything on this side. Boashigaru. I think... 
I think I could charge down the Boashi God. Like sometimes the AI is weird when it goes into skirmish mode like this with this army where it won't stop to fire until a predetermined zone. So you can just get your cavalry in with a free charge. Sometimes. Don't 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 take it for granted though. Be ready to abort it at the last second. You wanna be ready to abort this at the very last second. This could go horribly wrong. You see they're not firing. Now they are. I'm gonna send up the Yari Samurai real quick just to intercept this general here. But I, I probably will also just send the cavalry to intercept him. Fire! Oh, if that's a lot of damage. I'm just gonna pin him down with my cavalry right now. No, stop firing, stop firing, stop firing, stop firing. Don't, don't, don't shoot my own general like that. And yeah, that guy's out of the picture. I don't know, they might just attack me head on. My lord, their general has fallen. A cutting blow. Let's pull everyone out. I'm gonna have everything in the Yachty Wall just ready to charge in. Here we got Boash. You got a quick, a quick, a quick. Okay, seems they're, they've fixated on this target, so I will pull it away. Go. Run away and get the general up and stand and fight. What is this guy doing over here? How far is he going to flank? Yeah, turn, uh, go into walking speed, please. Yeah, you can see that like, they, they barely have any line of sight on these units. It's really bad for the AI. Let's stand and fight. Okay. This guy is going to disappear anytime soon. Come on. Broken. And yeah, that's, that's enough. And now it's time to take the fight to them. They might turn around to fire on my light cavalry as they approach. Oh, wait. Look at that. I didn't even get a charge on the general. He just walked into the zone of my cavalry. All right. Walked into the loving arms of my cavalry. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. <laughs> it makes so much, so much of a difference when you have cavalry. Just two units of light cavalry. So much flexibility. Let no one tell you that cavalry and Shogun 2 are pointless. Or that they die too quickly. It's kind of the point. They're a high risk, high reward unit. Or should I say they're just like, not really high risk, but... You still need to pay attention when using them. Especially when archers are involved, like they're in the mix.
Rebellion and Wadi. Peacefully occupy. Naginata Dojo. I'm tempted to. I'm honestly tempted to just leave that there because Naginata and the Yari Samurai just aren't a threat. I'd rather. I could put down a market here, but I'm probably going to lose it and just have to fight. And now I'm I'm just busy fighting against the AIs. Um, just having the AI send Metsuke's my way. Speak. And I can't. Yeah, I don't think I can request separate peace with the vassal. I don't think it's possible. Yeah, I didn't really improve my research speed that much. I'm gonna go for the other line of of buildings. Sanjoi Tasmascha. Hatajini. I like how hilly light forest and plains are like the only terrain. There's light forest as well in some areas, but it's mostly hilly light forest and plains. Look at that. This province, this is complete. And now we have Yari Ashigaru with 12 melee attack. That's like, I think it's almost equivalent to Katana Samurai, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's equivalent to Katana Samurai. These guys will absolutely shred Yari Samurai because um, the way Yari Wild works is that you have like three ranks attacking at the same time and Yari Samurai have really low melee attack, which means that when they do finally get the chance to attack, they just, <laughs> they just get shredded. Uh, okay. All right. Just super soldiers. That's what that's what we're gonna be. That's what we're gonna have. I'm gonna replace. I'm gonna replace these three with. With gold sword Yari Ashigaru. Hang on, how big is that rebellion? Oh, it's much bigger this time. Much more formidable. But hey, more enemy provinces is more stuff to pillage entering through the back door. Now I have no intel on Wasuge, what they're up to. They might have their armies all the way towards Hatakeyama or whatever, but I'm just going to leave my men here for now. I think... I would like to pillage this province and let rebels take over. It's going to be Grey Banner Rebels, which means it's like a buffer province. They're useful or that. Grey Banner Rebels allow you to... to uh, Like, they're really good for Realm Divide since they don't contribute to your Realm Divide bar, but they do also weaken the AI at the same time. It's like the best of both worlds. No pulse from Hattori or Iku. Okay, they seem to have their own problems. Oh, sorry. Never mind. There they are. There's the Iko army that I was looking for. And Imagawa have been so faithful this whole time. Man. It's rare to see a vassal last this long in the campaign. All right, and uh, I'm not really in a need for generals right now. I already got one. All right, let's finish off what we started here with the Yamanuchi. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pillage this province, I think. Oh, what?
Okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna lose I'm I'm gonna lose it anyway to Wasuge almost inevitably, and that just <sighs> I was expecting to get at least like maybe two thousand Koku out of this province, but not to be that was not to be. Well, Yamanuchi is out of the fight now. Good riddance. Library. Katana Samurai and... There, that's perfect. I love it. Can't build a non-bond trade port. Have not come across the Europeans yet. Or they have not come across me, I should say, just to be more accurate. My research 21 turns. I'm gonna send this army west soon. I think I've I've fitted it well enough for, for war. Armed and ready for battle. Iko Iki was using an agent for something there, and it's scaring me, actually. It's really scaring me. I don't know who they're sabotaging or if they're trying to assassinate someone here. Oh. Well, they, they wasted their ninja on sabotaging this army. Okay. Never mind. That's fine by me. Fortress in Kai. Haha. <laughs> Now, what do we do over here? We build another encampment. That's what we do. <laughs> we build another encampment. That is what we do here. Or, no, I'm going to go for a market, honestly. Markets are actually not a bad idea to put in these uh, military provinces. Like, you'd think, why? But it's because they're also, like... The, the problem with building markets in level 1, level 2 towns is they're... they're by virtue of them being level 1, level 2, they're less, like, defended. And the, if somebody just picks off one of those provinces... Mid-turn, you lost your income for that turn. There's nothing you can do about it. So it's not a bad idea. Plus, your Metsukes are also more secure in these towns. I think the enemy agents are... Like, the, the level of fortification and the garrison also contributes to their... Like, like affects their level of success. All right. Yeah, I think this is a good enough army. Or maybe, you know what? I'll throw in... I'll just make sure, you know, extra insurance with more cavalry units. I don't need to invest that much in garrison since I'm going for matchlocks, so... That, that's like the strategic benefit of matchlocks is you just free up all these units that would normally be in a garrison. And that was a right call actually because there might be two eco armies arrayed against me and... Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh my lord. Yeah, I want the biggest baddest rebel army to show up here. The biggest baddest rebel army you can imagine. Uh, I'm hoping Imagawa is a bit of a speed bump for them and then they just confront me on the bridge here. That's the ideal battleground. I also have an idea. You know, offense is, the, offense is the best defense. I'm going to go pillage with, like, Ichigo. See what's up there and just pillage it, maybe. And just let the rebels take over as as well. It's good because Wasuge has other provinces, so I'm not going to get Wasuge rebels. Okay, 
Still got some resistance to invaders left over. Fine. I just... I, I can't understand Ikuiki the way they're managing their armies here. They normally send them all together, so it's weird to see them just... Spaz out, not knowing what to do with them. In all provinces? Well... What a timing. What a timing. Scumbags. What a timing. Well, I guess I'll take advantage of that for both samurai. Alright. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, Wasuge. Oh, what are you doing here? How nice of you to be here. How nice of you to join me. I don't think I'll retreat onto the bridge. Ah, but at the same time, they might have another army somewhere. Oh, uh, yeah, this does not look like their only army. Uh, let me check um, diplomacy real quick. Strong, moderate, they might have another army, so I will give ground to them and uh, let them attack me on the bridge. Yeah, 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 she got on here. Uh, yeah, minister to settlement. Oh, I probably should actually place him here. Maybe that, that one point in morale might be useful. Anyway, let's move forward. I'm going to place him on this bridge here. Stop the eco Iki and then counterattack. Takeda. Oh, look. Coming right after me. Anyway, uh, I think um, I think that's going to be enough for the session. I think we made good progress overall. We have a library in the making. We have some uh, refitted armies with uh, with katana samurai and katana cavalry to, to back them up. Uh, stand and fight general, and two uh, well upgraded provinces. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!